I hope Dara O'Brien from Mock the Week would be able to support me tonight and open the show. But uh, Dara, of course, uh, busy as ever uh, making Mock the Week, uh, an ongoing thing. Because Mock the Week is always on somewhere. There's many things going on in the news. You know, there's many things going on. Anyway, the party is well. There's almost things to cover that you couldn't get here today. Don't worry, madam. You're not supposed to understand this bit. <laughs> But of course, you may have heard the news this week. A uh, man in Kenworth, a group of people in fact in Kenworth, being kept awake all night by a low frequency drone. People in Kenworth couldn't sleep at night. And people say, what's this low frequency drone? Where is it coming from? You know, is it electricity pylons? Is it somebody that's solar panels? Uh, what is it got this low frequency drone? And then he realized that people in Kenworth, that somebody had left their TV on all night on Dave. And it was just me going, eh. <laughs> But who else is on the program this week? Uh, Andy Parsons. What's been happening in the news? Are you doing Andy Parsons? <laughs> well, this week, the government, every night, yet again, on their green promises. They're saying they want to build 50,000 homes over the next 20 years on the green built land. They say they want to build what is effectively a town the size of Slough on the green built land. Now, I don't know about you good people of Coventry, but I've been to Slough. Slough is a shithole. <laughs> if the government want to build a town the size of Slough, why don't they leave the green belt land alone, knock down Slough, and build a town the size of Slough on top of bloody Slough? <laughs> Thank you very much indeed, Annie Parsons. Yeah, very nice point there, well made. The audience very likes in that one very much indeed. Who else is on the program with me this week? Uh, Milton Jones. What's been happening in the news or for you this week, Milton Jones? Well, <laughs> this week I sent my first tweet. I had never tweeted before. When I came out of my house, I saw these two lads dealing cannabis. I thought, I'm not having that. So I grabbed the cannabis off them and I chased them off. They then crept up on me, grabbed the cannabis and chased me off. I chased them for a bit. They chased me for a bit. I put that on Twitter. Hashtag, hash. Tag. Mm. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed, Milton Jones. Well done, Brockham. This week's name is Mickey Flanagan. Mickey Flanagan. <laughs> well, this week I went to the horse racing for the first time. <laughs> I had never been to the horse racing before. When you come from the East End of London, you don't get to go to the horses. You might bet on the horses, you might eat the horses. <laughs> but you don't get to go to the horses. So my manager rings me up, he says, Mickey, they want to take you to the horse racing. We don't know where, but we think it's going to be Epsom. Now, I didn't know whether that was the name of the race course or just some young person's word for something that's, like, really good. <laughs> Somewhere between epic and awesome lies Epsom Minute. <laughs> thank you very much indeed, Mickey. Thanks to all my guests in that parish show. Thank you very much indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.